Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saigen and today we're continuing our Rookie Baboa run where I'm trying to beat legendary Iron Man difficulty with rookies only and we even up the challenge. I am trying to beat it with rookies only without any squad, side up, uh, squad size upgrades. So this is really just four rookies against the world which uh, so far has become uh, iteratively more complex and difficult for whatever reason I was lucky enough to make it into September uh, we even killed one of the alien rulers which is fantastic uh, the chosen still continue to bombard us with their nonsense as we are unable to retaliate and kill them so that's off the table but uh, we could if we play our cards right kill all three of the rulers I do have my doubts though uh, that this is going to happen. Um, I'm trying to manage expectations. This run here looks really, really difficult. Operation Unholy Moan is us uh, trying to fight against the Doom Clock because on top of uh, all of the other nice things that are happening, the Doom Clock has just started. So we gotta clean out this alien facility, which is the only facility that we do have access to. Knowing farewell that it will have uh, the the Archon King in there. I figured we might want to improve our aim and even if it is by slight 10% that could be helpful. Uh, the only one with uh, blue screen rounds is Sonar here. Sane will help us and Aaron and Jarenx um, uh, show their comeback. This is going to be difficult. Uh, rank 2 uh, bonds all the way through. I am most concerned about really meeting the Archon and then getting getting exposed to all of his bullshit including pulling someone up slamming them into the ground and so on and so forth this is really going to be a bit of a do or die mission we potentially need high ground somewhere and a good overwatch trap to make that work but let's not get ahead of ourselves deep breath and let's jump into the mission Hey, we landed and with that we got a nice facility that we will need to take care of where is the high ground there is a house over here which we might be able to use as high ground Dranks begins to scout it's a non-timed mission so we have all the time in the world we'll do Very good. So this here could be a little bit of high ground for us. I can see something in the background. Yeah, that's a mountain ridge and that is more high ground. I want to try to play this On the move. slow and steady. And let's go here. Moving on target. No need to rush. Got it covered. On Overwatch. Eyes on the so we don't yet know what we're dealing with. The only thing that I am certain of is that the Archon King is here. And this guy is just an absolute beast. I think 60 hit points, 4 or 5 armor. Position confirmed. You don't want to deal with him. Hostiles making the rounds. Okay, that's a pack of two. Not the your typical pack. Typically, they have a third one. Maybe a pure purifier. Oh no, uh, there it is. That's a super heavy. That's a super heavy mech, an elite, an elite uh, captain, and I think a normal shield bearer. So we have firmly entered what is known as the end game. Got it covered. All right, moving over here. On it. Continuing to move over there. 
and continuing to move. Good. Look, so far so good. I think the biggest problem that I would be foreseeing is how to deal with that massive monster. Moving. Moving to designated coordinates. Understood. Moving out. Good. Running. Could have had that simpler by just moving up him up here, but yeah, never mind. I keep them in tag teams and standing next to one another whenever possible. Look, the mech is unfortunately going to go into Overwatch the moment that we are triggering this pack. So trying to be mindful here. I need to save the shredding for later. Can't risk to use it now, even though they have armor. But our bigger problem is going to be the Archon King. Potentially needs all the shredding that we have. Look, let's get here and let them come a bit closer. If they come back, we would actually have a nice overwatch trap. Those extra shots would be helpful because they would allow us to deal with, uh, with the amount of hit points. We've now reached a point in the game where the amount of hit points is just so high. That it will be very uh, difficult for us to chew through all of them. Likely these other two advents are kind of moving down here and the mech is just taking the high ground. Hate to resort to those type of soft tactics, but it we need to be conserving most of our consumables, really. And I can't afford to put them into such a fight. Alright, come on. You can't be telling me that you're just wasting the, your time there. Good. Jarenx continues to explore a bit. Eyes on the Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. And as he moves, theoretically, the enemy should also start to move. Well, that's the second pack now. One which I would love to engage, but the first one is still inside, so therein lies a problem. Come on, move away. Seriously. Closing on target position now. Heading there now. Okay. Scanning. Overwatch. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Typically, <clears throat> typically they would at least continue their march, but it seems that this is one of uh, the instances where the XCOM engine has decided that it has correctly nailed you down in one corner. Moving to 
Sure. And now just wait until you no longer overwatch. To then accidentally move into you. I have had those situations so often. I do have an idea though. Look. Doesn't need to be like that. Rolling. Okay. On the move. But we're slowly but surely moving away from from this nasty pack here. And of course, the moment that we're reconsidering where we would engage them, that pack decides to move as well. So let's try this again. I'm just trying to be on high ground and fight against one pack. That's the target here. Okay, well, what's our chance of hitting the heavy mech? Not that great. I would like it on low ground. Is, is there a chance that that is going to happen? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, we're going to open on the Mac. Armor still holding. Our position. Not a perfect opening, but okay. Good. We want to kill uh, this Mac, so might as well need to waste the first teamwork. Would have been less bad if we could have actually used if we could have actually used our ability to surprise them that however was not the case good let's start hitting the shield bearer And I don't want to use another. I don't want to use another uh, consumable. Are we going to use a mimic beacon though? I think we're fine. Overwatch. This guy might just run. Figured that that would be the case. So mimic beacon saved. Very good. Reload. Reload. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. And we already know that there is another pack. Which is just waiting to come into our direction. Scratch, uh, scratch the loot. This mission has so little um, margin for error. That I don't want to risk anything. I would like to use almost no consumable to go through those packs. Because I'm expecting that we will have the full brunt of of a hardcore fight once we're fighting against that Archon King. Slowly but surely, 
Let's get the teams together again, the tag teams. Good. Drangs moves up. And we got another Overwatch trap. Come on. It's a good one. Oh, these guys will move in here sooner or later. Alright, I'll fa fast forward a few turns. You don't need to see, like me, reappearing Overwatch traps. And uh, I'll see if I can catch them, of course. There we go took two turns and then they were running into us come on let's hit this guy Okay, that was the worst Overwatch trap ever. Ever! On my way. 100% chance, come on. Good, moving to hopefully kill that Codex here. Very nice. Okay, so this here is enough line of sight coverage that unless he moves back there we should be safe even standing in the open Good copy. Moving on target. the reason why i'm doing this is i don't want to be grenaded Good 50 50 hmm Hmm. I don't think that we will get a better chance with Overwatch. But who knows? That's Overwatch that makes us a more attractive target and we're in full cover. Fantastic. Let's get this guy down 50-50. Moving up into high ground. Let's hope I'm not triggering something. Uh, tower. I will need to move back. Problem gone. Same drops, and we are okay for now. Good. Two packs are gone. We do have a hit point problem with Sane. Should have potentially traded my Mimic Beacon and just played it safe. Yeah, that was suboptimal. I'm a bit uh, salty about him losing the hit points because it was unnecessary. All 
right. Sonar. There now. Can hopefully take care of uh, the tower. Yeah, this is going to be a tough to pill to swallow. We're through the first two packs and now might want to go over here, but high ground is difficult. <clears throat> the Archon King, he has Devastate as an ability. If you fight on high ground that is disruptible or dis destructible, you will very likely fall down and die. And I can't move all of my soldiers out of there. This in itself is already dangerous. So it's potentially a better idea to split up. Moving on target location. Got it covered. Overwatch. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm not sure. On I mean, in the perfect world. We would uh, hit him with a nice overwatch trap. Reality might not look as great as that. Moving out. Typically, the kings or the alien rulers in general are outside, which means we should keep the fight mainly to the outside for now Confirmed. Moving to Overwatch. Hostiles are moving. and be a bit spread out Rolling. that helps as well We're hearing enemy movement. I'll give it a couple more turns to see if we could uh, get them into another trap. And let's see if that works. Okay, so I moved the fire line just a tiny bit further to the east and then slightly bit forward. Still getting pings from here. I don't fully know what to make out of it. But I assume there is a pack right in here. Come get some. On Overwatch. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Can't be that difficult hey, to trigger. I will give it a few more turns just to see if something runs into us. We have a huge advantage if, if we could actually pull off an entire Overwatch trap. Okay, no luck, unfortunately. I'm afraid if we're going to go in... That might trigger. Somewhere here, either inside or right here, is a pack. Okay. All right, let's try it. This variation of the arc uh, I did not want to trigger him. things escape from the lab this is the shot we've been waiting for take that thing down before it has a chance to okay run. can't hit him from here could hit him from here can't hit him from here good so we do got two out of uh, side rookies both of uh, which are overwatching that does not tr trigger an action and we will honestly speaking need to start to shred him first five armor way too much down to three or more much better come on execute that's at least a hit come on execute a man can hope right 
Okay, there's the second tower. Well, lucky for us, the only other rookie that is left over has a stock. So this is going to be a hit. Regardless. And with a hit, he's dropping. And with that, he's moving over. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Now, what you always need to do is check line of sight. There is no line of sight here. There is a line of sight here. There's no line of sight here. And there is a line of sight here. Okay, which means, naturally, Sonar is going to overwatch. And Jarenk's going to overwatch. And we're continuing our massive onslaught. Continue to shred him. Nice. Very nice. That's a hit. And a miss, that is also a hit. Good. Overwatch. Yeah, they don't react to Mimic Beacons at all. Sona could move into his former full cover. I don't know. I want to just take a shot here. I have the slight concern he's just going to shoot back and the Archon King is a relatively good shot. Could move to here but that might trigger an entire pack. But let's do the obvious. At least some overwatches. Seventy percent, and we have the better repeater. Ah, uh, not good. Moving. Eighty percent. Execute. Not yet. I would love to have 8 protocol something something something. Ready to go. Aaron. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. Jarenks does the same. This is a 70% chance to hit. Okay, well. It's a firefight between Sane and this guy. Hair trigger, free action, come on. Okay, he should be fleeing now. Okay, Overwatch. Reload, Overwatch, moving down, so that we can catch him when he's trying to flee. Well, I hate to say it, but we couldn't also shoot. That was a intense fight, much intenser than I would have uh, wanted uh, to. This guy is a monster. That's affirmative. 
luckily for us, we managed to uh, catch him on the wrong uh, foot. Good, we got Mimic Beacons, so we should be fine with the remaining uh, with the remaining enemies. Unless, of course, no, there, there couldn't be a Chosen in here. They couldn't. Uh, no, we don't want to fight that turret yet. Good. Sonar is the one who is on turret duty. Unfortunately, that's a miss. So what's the plan B? Mimic Beacon. But not so easy, sweetheart. Not so fast. Um... We could still simply execute these turrets. Well, it didn't work. So here we go. Mimic beacon number one. Yeah, they are uh, hurting quite a bit. Specifically the double shots. Oh, and afterwards it fell down and just destroyed itself. Oh, cool. Yeah. Classical XCOM logic. After you've wasted your Mimic Beacon, terrain destroys itself and the turret just insta-kills itself. Great. Moving a tiny bit back and we're carefully advancing. Moving to position. Moving to really not hearing all that much. Yeah, there is still a pack in there. Okay. Can we get a flank? Yeah, likely. Could move up here. Okay. I can pretty much pinpoint them to be at the stairs. There now. On the move. Overwatch. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Enemies on the move. Oh yeah, they are at the stairs. Well, no, they are in the room now. They moved.
We could even go in and plant the C4. I like the idea of high ground so that we do have a better way of breaching. Take insane as the second in command here. Good. Sona moves in and is likely going to trigger. Menace one five, you're near the target position. Apparently it's not. Closing on target position now. On Overwatch. Affirmative, covering now. Get some. Moving to Overwatch. Which then again begs the question where exactly are these guys? Potentially underneath here. Just waiting. Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay, let's check something. Just out of curiosity. Look, maybe they are really a bit further away. Who knows? Moving. They are most certainly in this area. There we go. Let's... First of all, we do have a Mimic Beacon, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's make sure that that Codex dies. He will most certainly die with the repeater. Moving in. Well, that's also a way of killing them, I suppose. And I mean, yeah, why not? It's the last pack. No need to be extra fancy here. They're flanking my position. Position confirmed. Getting close and personal. All right. Maybe too close and too personal. We can already plant it. Reinforcements are likely to be called in. Status confirmed. X4 but that also means uh, we can can just evac here. There's still another pack somewhere, or it is due to the reinforcements. Who knows? Look, we don't need the reinforcements. Our job here is done. We're good. We're good. We shredded the Archon King down to one armor and survived the first encounter, which is more than 
I would have expected and we even uh, stopped uh, the Doom Timer. So overall it was a successful albeit quite costly mission. There was one more turret somewhere. Good, very good. We're still in the game. I am surprised. Hanging on by the lightest of threats. But we only reduced it by one. The good news though is uh, the Avatar project itself is delayed and the minor breakthrough has also happened. So that piece is gone. We shouldn't see any in improve or increases in the Avatar project anytime soon. On the other hand, we need more contacts and we definitely need to make uh, our way to Central Africa, like fast. Are we going for Avenger Power again? We are okay on supplies. I think we're going for Avenger Power. Avenger plotting new course. So, next step, gain more contacts and gain more intel, expand, because we need to fight off that Avatar project. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. Fantastic. The feedback uh, reward is great. So we could take one last mission, the recruitment of an engineer. And I think that's not a bad idea. Let's do that with with some of the other rookies. Lyrical and Ataxia were good. Soldier captured. Hate to see if either of you would be captured. Hmm. But on the other hand, we would get an engineer. Let's still do it. We will begin the covert action Let's still do it. Commander. We will have a capturing chance on almost all of the missions now. You have many new to and we'll reduce, uh, we're re uh, mm, losing some of our potential income sources. Uh, another dark VIP mission, but it is Intel. So, if I could pull it off, that would help us. This is a, a horrible month for us. Two more days under powered armor, and I just can't seem to find a pause. Yeah, so we got to do that. And we got to do that relatively soon. In terms of available soldiers, I think we're fine. Aaron and Durang is still here. Plus potentially two rookies that have not bonded yet. Nah, that's never great, but there's only so much we can do. Maybe we, f uh, maybe we find uh, a covert ops mission that gives us a bond, but I think those were blocked uh, from the game for rookies. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to interrupt the bond training for Roby and Divat because they are currently upgrading to level three, which would be fantastic. They would be a great team. Aaron and Duranks, I think, are also almost ready for level three. In terms of available projects, yeah, just two, two cores. And we do not have the ultra heavy weapons here. That'll come. That'll come, but we need powered armor upgrades first. Work is well underway. What else can we get afterwards? I mean, data pad, yep, that is not a bad idea. If we do the Viper King autopsy, um, am I going to wear the armor? Likely yes, because it has that nice uh, 
uh, frost option as a free action and high ground options that we could elsewise not get so I could see it be useful specifically to increase the tempo a bit maybe together with tail and rounds and then kind of having a quasi ranger ish that is moving in so yeah let's let's do that next but first we need uh, the armor upgrade eight hit points like we currently have are really getting uh, us nowhere many enemies can now uh, crit us immediately and the only person that seems to be sort of immune to that or uh, or uh, has enough hit points is Roby and the only reason why he has that is because we gave him a covert ops mission so unless I find a better way of increasing the stats we really need to work with powered armor and then also with war suits uh, just to get those extra um, armor blips for more hit points and that's really it I I wouldn't know what else uh, uh, to do um, and we are at some point then maxed out if we do have let's say two war suits uh, one war suit the berserk uh, queen suit and uh, the other two unique armors that might be it that might be the best uh, we can do with a four-man team high mobility and two times uh, cover removal which seems to be okay for now it, it seems just fine maybe maybe we are even okay with three times cover removal because we, we don't have anything to shred and uh, once we're out of the heavy weapons that is really becoming a problem so maybe maybe the Icarus suit is is not going to work for this run but then again why wouldn't it I mean it lets you get everywhere it's the best suit it lets you get everywhere uh, you can take two items with you one of which could be uh, shredding like an acid uh, an acid bomb or an EMP bomb and at the same time it, it allows you to yeah jump three times so maybe the final final uh, um, uh, outlook would be two war suits uh, the berserk suit <coughs> and and uh, the Icarus suit that would yeah I think that would uh, that would work well I could see that the uh, freezing will help us against stronger enemies <coughs> it could simply act as a quasi mimic beacon and as a free action difficult to say uh, all hypothetical so far we only have one dead ruler and we haven't even created the armor so let's see how this is uh, going to go on in the future thanks for watching guys i appreciate your viewership leave a comment and a like down below smash that like button and uh, let me know what you think about uh, the alien rulers and our equipment i'd like to get your um, information down there and let's discuss a bit take care and see you soon bye bye